What a stunning venue. We are live at Brooklyn Hall. I'm Todd Grisha. And here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. Todd, it's going to be an amazing night. As per usual, everybody's going to benefit. It's time now for our tale of the tape. Arturo Gotti. He stands at five foot eight inches tall. Arturo Thunder Gotti, the blood and guts warrior king. No one has as big a heart as this fighter. Ricky Hit Manhattan, fighting out of Manchester, United Kingdom, one of the most beloved fighters in English boxing history. It would be ding ding from birth, Bob, they're off. All right, those are the numbers. Here we go. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner, the blood and guts warrior, the Hall of Famer from Jersey City, New Jersey, a super lightweight champion of the world, Arturo Thunder Gotti. Hiding out of the blue corner, introducing from Manchester, England, a popular and exciting junior welterweight and welterweight champion of the world, here is Ricky Hitman. Manhattan. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. Todd, when you've got fights in there that really believe they're going to win, that's when the action happens. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. High hopes for this battle between these two athletes. Punch. He just misses with that jab. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. You'll find to the counter puncher, you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every trick. He drops that jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You're going to swarm on your case. You know you've got to fight. You've got to hold him. You've got to tie him up. You're going to lean on him when you come in until the referee makes you break off. But keep your hands high because they will keep punching until that referee said stop. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Fight is closer than two pages and a book, Johnny. Who's going to be the first one to get rocked? And he fails to score with that left hook.
fights where if you blink, you probably miss about three or four punches. That's the kind of output we're going to see. You remember, with a lighter weight, you're expecting at least 300 shots a round. They can let these shots go. They can move the fast they shot. That's a hard night work for the referee. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Gets out of the way of that left hand. Jab to the body, trying to wear him down. That left shot lands. He will hold. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? That was super tough. On to the third. a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. So his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. It finally happened! It was just a matter of time, and down he goes! You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. Accuracy, power, punch, perfect. That must hurt.